Hi, my name is Charles Clark and I'm from the Phoenix, Arizona area. I received my funding on October the 5th of 2021. I finished my evaluation in 15 days and I chose the 100K account because I believe the 100K account was large enough for me on the uh, trailing drawdown and also the daily limits that I wouldn't have to worry about hitting either one. I would uh, look at my approach to trading and define my trading style as a day trader and opportunist. I mix both fundamental and technical analysis. I don't believe you can use just one or the other. I believe you need both to make good sound decisions in your trading. For me, it's simply put the uh, way that it's laid back at one up trader. You have 15 days, you have one evaluation to go through, not two or three, whatever the case may be. You only have one. Uh, the parameters are set that you know what you're uh, getting into. You've got all the rules there in front of you. There's nothing hidden, no hidden fees, nothing like that. And the support team is just incredible. Not only that, we have Discord. So that's really why I chose to come here. Yes, I, I do. I have. And I had a friend that actually started here, One Up Trader. He was a relatively new type of trader in futures and he didn't know a whole lot. And so for him, it's really, I was showing him the, uh, the social platform with Discord and how he could go in and listen to other traders, hear daily comments that were going on, all these different types of things, the articles there, the support team, all of those things. And so I feel like it was the best place to put a new trader in that didn't have a lot of experience. Emphatically, yes. Uh, I could name all the names, Gustavo, Jay, China, um, all these individuals, uh, Pablo, each and every one. And I know I'm missing people, but they are so incredible. The support team, I can't say enough about them. Uh, day or night, weekend, doesn't matter. You can reach them through uh, text, through the phone, every way possible. So it's really appreciative when you're dealing with a live environment. Yes, I received my funding four days after I completed the evaluation. I turned my uh, paperwork in right after I would finished everything up on the last day and got the emails of what would be coming, what to do, completed the paperwork, and then I set up my NinjaTrader platform account just so that I have it ready whenever MES Capital sent me my login credentials. They sent it on the fourth day, it's right there, and so began to trade uh, that for that very first day, fourth day, I should say, um, that I got the information. No, there were no hidden fees. Uh, didn't everything that uh, that I was told was exactly the way it was and the way it happened. And so that's there was no hidden fees at all. And um, I did not have to pay for data. We do not have to pay for data. Yes, I did receive one. Uh, because I had put on one extra contract that I, I didn't realize until I did it. And then I just hit it, you know, hit the sale right away on everything. I just wanted to get completely out. I received a warning over on the side. It came down and said, hey, listen, you've, you've went over your maximum contracts. And so I sent an email over to MES because you, you know, you're kind of thinking, man, is everything okay? So I wanted to make sure that everything was okay. They got back with me right away. Yes, everything's all right. And so I asked them if they would set a limit on my contracts that I was allowed to use. And so they did that for me. So I really appreciate them for helping me out there. Uh, I have, I did get funded over Top Step and I don't have anything bad to say about them. I just, it was just a different type of trading atmosphere. Um, I like one up trader. Uh, better for me. It just works out better for me the way that uh, I was looking at things, not having to go through two evaluations um, and just, you know, the funding, how long it takes to get funded, those type of things. It's just better. One Up Trader, I feel like, is a better uh, setup. Again, it's just for me, it's personal preference just because you, the all the things that One Up Trader offers us here, um, how many. Uh, different outlets we have. We have Discord. We have the social page. You've got articles that are there. You've got a, re a wealth of resources. When I first started trading, we didn't have that. You're talking dial up and all these other things, and it's archaic. And you're thinking, man, how did we ever make it during that time? But 
you know, here we are and new traders have so much more uh, available to them with here at one up. And so I really appreciate everything they do. And I continue to tell people about it. I trade using um, candlesticks only. I use candlesticks. I enter my trades based on fundamental analysis and technical analysis because you have to realize and understand that uh, some people trade just fundamentals, some people trade just technicals, and hey, that's everybody to each his own. But I do not believe that you can just trade one or the other. I believe that you have to understand, you know, what news is uh, going to do to your particular um, uh particular trade, uh, what you're trading, whether it's gold or silver. I'm sorry I got stuck there. I just uh, wanted the, your particular product that you're trading. Let me say it like that. And so for me, it's you have to know uh, what's going to affect that. And not only that, but what is the charts telling you? What is the hour chart telling you? What's the five minute chart? I'm looking at every uh, hour, every minute chart, every 5, 15, 30, I want to know exactly where everything is at. And so I feel like you have to use both to understand how to pick your entries and exits. Uh, again, I use the Bollinger Bands with my candlesticks. I look for um, supports and resistances just like everyone else. Um, but I also incorporate looking at psychological levels uh, of trading like at 100 uh, the 100 areas, the 50 areas, the 25 areas, because, you know, when you get in your mind, when you look at well, it's getting up to 99, it's getting up to 100, so is everybody else. And so you need to know what to do during that time. Or if it's coming down to 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, what, you know, when are they going to get in? When are they going to get out? And so to me, that makes a huge difference. And especially when you've got the Bollinger Bands in and working with it. So that's how I make my decisions and how I how I trade. And I do trade. Um, I don't go into the long hauls. I, you will not see me sitting in an hour of trade. Uh, my trades go for, um, sometimes they'll go for 30 seconds. Sometimes my trades go for two or three minutes. But I'm not going to stay in something. I'm going to drop losers uh, quickly, and I'm going to try to stay on to my winners, uh, you know, longer. Uh, that's what I look for. And so I like the pages there on it, um, one up trader, because they show you your time frames and how to actually look at those. And so it really helps out a lot. Oh, yeah, a lot. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Um, but for me, it's going to be, uh, I'm, you know, our, um, our minimum is a thousand dollars and I want a paycheck. I, you know, I want to be making the same things that I make when I am, uh, drawing my check each week for, from employment. You know, those are the things that I look at doing. I look at retiring my wife and I, and so, you know, I'm trying to pull that money at a time because you've got to get paid. If you're not getting paid, it's monopoly money and you'll wind up losing it. So it's better for you to pull out some money and pull out a thousand, pull out 2000, pull out whatever, you know, don't, don't get so heavy in there that you don't enjoy what you're doing because it can really take away from the trading experience. I get up and I do my daily devotions. I read and pray. And, um, from there I grab me a cup of coffee. I got to get my mojo going. I, you know, I'm very, uh, I am a very, um, outward person. I got my music going and I'll put in my favorite tunes. I'm trading with my music and I got it on uh, my wife and I, she works out of the house as well. And so I have my days. I have, uh, make it happen Monday, turn it around Tuesday. Uh, wait, what is it? Uh, wild and wacky Wednesday, try it again Thursday and fun Friday. And so all those days mean something to me. And I feel like that if you can get into those kind of, um, fun things, then you can actually help yourself in trading because, you know, like with turning around Tuesday, I've had times where Mondays were bad and turn around Tuesday really helped me out because I was like, okay, let's turn it around today. Make it happen Monday. You know, we're going to come in here. We're just going to watch everything going and then we're going to hit it wide open as we, if we can. Uh, I was already a veteran trader, but I feel like that it has done that for me and helping me to slow down because I was trying to um, do things so quickly because you're obviously trying to get funded. You know, you're obviously trying to get everything running. Everybody wants to do that. Nobody wants to work for free. Okay. That's just, 
the, the reality of it. But with One Up Trader, it helped me to realize the slowdown. Just hey, it's going to happen. Just take your time, get it done the right way, and move on. I would tell you to um, take your time. I mean, and I don't mean like you know take two years or a year. I mean you know take you. It's fifteen days. And as I told my friend. There's no Hall of Fame wall. They're not going to take your picture and put it up on the wall because you got everything done in three days, four days, five days. You got 15 days. 15 days. Use those 15 days to set yourself up the right way. Yes, I know that we get the feeling that, you know, tomorrow I may not have these type of trades. I mean, it's going to happen. I've been trading for over two decades, and I can promise you, I've always had trades each and every day of trading. There's always been trades out there. You just have to look for them. And so if you feel like that there's never going to be another trade, then you're going to trade insanely and you're going to wind up having to do, I guess, to reset those type of things. You don't want to do that. Take your time. Take what you have to make, your 6,000, 9,000, whatever the case may be. Divide it up by 15. Divide it up by 10. Give yourself a few days extra so you can relax in between, whatever. And just, okay, here's what I need to make. I need to make 500. I need to make whatever. And do that. But enjoy it. Enjoy what you're doing and learn. Get in there. Read. Listen to guys. You know, listen to gals. Everybody. And, and learn. I uh, know just that I want to truly say I really appreciate One Up Trader. I appreciate you all for the opportunity you've given to us because honestly, um, traders like myself back in the day, uh, we didn't have this opportunity. We didn't have the opportunity to fail, if you will, and and, and blow an account. Uh, you were using your own money. So I had a friend that actually went through uh, on his tax return. He had a, a large over a, a six-figure um uh, or tax return because of what he had lost. That's a lot to learn from. And so for me, um, I'm grateful. Um, we're all grateful uh, for all my friends that we trade together and stuff like that for this opportunity that we've been given here. So thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Take care, everyone.